And he went down with them to Nazareth and was subject to them. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and grace. Little children, this is important for us today. We want to strive to be good and holy, so we know the way. The wise men said, for we saw his star in the east. This star was miraculous, possibly being uh, angels condensing light in there, infusing, infusing brightness into it carrying it across the sky in a straight line. As bright by day as it was by night, bigger than the sun and the moon and all the stars we see. Will we ever see something so spectac spectacular as the star, the miracle of the star? Probably not. We don't look for signs and wonders of this sort. No, our star, my dear children, is something much simpler. It is our superiors when they speak to us. We, under, we ought to understand this is God speaking to us. For this is one of his many means that he uses. He also speaks to us through inspirations during Holy Mass and prayers. Let us do more than simply fulfill an obligation while we attend Mass. Let us follow the path marked by the star, so easily seen today, as there is so much in the gospel and epistle that hardly needs to be expounded upon. Brethren, put ye on as the elect of God. At least these few virtues, bearing with one another, forgiving one another, but above all these things, have charity, which is the bond of perfection. Need I say more? Here is the star which we are to follow. Imitate our Lord and our Lady. They have shown us the way. As Mary kept these things in her heart, let the word of Christ dwell in you. This word again. Comes up so often. The bond of perfection. that no devil or circumstance in all of creation can take away from you. The love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. But what do we do? We leave here, we leave the mass behind, and we've done our duty. Do we so easily let the star dim from sight? When God speaks to us, we must respond. For in the end, our Lord will ask us, How is it that you saw? Little children, not only do we obey when our parents speak, but we must remember to do all whatsoever we do in word or in work in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is our job, to foster the spirit of char charity in the family. For we know our goal. We have seen the star. We have the faith. How are we seeking our Lord? How are we living the faith? One thing will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us make our homes his home. Let it be filled with these virtues of mercy, benignity, humility, modesty, patience, and ultimately, charity. How do we foster these virtues? We don't tolerate their opposites. We don't hold grudges. Life's too short not to forgive someone and move on. Why dwell on something that aggravates you? This only makes you the cause of your aggravation. You won't let go.
Don't hoard your treats. I always tell the story of my nephew. He was riding with my brother. He got to go to town. And he got a treat. And so on the way back, he was eating his treat. And then he was so saving it for later. And my brother noticed and he said, you're saving your treat for later until you get home? He said, yeah. Well, if you do that, then you're going to have to share it with the other kids. So he immediately took it out and then continued eating. We should want everyone to have something as good as we have. The faith. And so we share. No one wants to be left out or left behind. It happens, but we shouldn't make it happen. This is how we come together as a family. Let us as a family, as a community, be modest. May we never be an occasion for someone's eternal damnation. In dress or an example, let us watch wholesome family movies or find new board games to play or other activities. Let us show the world what it means to be Catholic. Because you can be certain they don't know. Be not quick to anger. Remember, it's divine providence that gave you your family. We should have pick them. So God knew they are exactly what we need to foster charity and to get to heaven. Remember, as a family, you have a special union which the world would seek to break down and draw you apart. There's so many broken homes out there. It's, it frustrates a lot of things. It's really sad to see people growing up without parents, without mothers or fathers. And so we need to keep this family bond at all costs. And this is the means, our means of sanctity, the bond of perfection. Therefore, we must come together in a special way, knowing that we're all struggling to be Catholic in an anti-Catholic world. And so we need to do our part in helping each other. Brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, fellow parishioners, priests and religious. We're all a team. God has pulled us all together for our benefit. All of your acquaintances, and we are strongest when we help each other for the common goal. And we help each other most when we can suffer each other in patience and charity. We do this by following the guidance of our superiors. That ultimately God can lead us by the star. Let us make our home a home like in Nazareth. That we may all advance in wisdom in age and grace with God and in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <coughs>